doing? How do you like our deck? You like it? You look nice today. <laughs> Um, try to, yeah, I mean, you can put big rocks down on this side. Yeah, because this, because this is pretty massive down here. And then, uh, uh, and then put soil and then we'll put more rocks. And then a little on this side. Away. Yeah, we're gonna go to flush. So just, as I compact it, I'm gonna reset. You know what's crazy is like, where did all the dirt go? Get those dirty old leaves out of there. <laughs> Don't want any organic matter in there if possible. Well, there's going to be organic matter, but... All of it is from the earth. Yeah. We don't want any leaves in there. Or as few as possible. We'll do our best. Screw the rest. <laughs> Screw the rest. That looks good. Look at that one lined right up. Dirty old lineup. Dirty old lineup. We have to do this to all the posts. One post at a time. Can you imagine doing this last night? Oh my gosh. Was... We were gonna do this in the dark. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I'm glad we waited to do this today. And we got our water figured out. Yeah, we did. These big rocks out of here. Uh, start with dirt if you can. Okay. You want to hold this? Uh, put a little bit in and then I'll, uh, then I'll redo it. Because then when I move it, it starts holding its position that I found.
almost dead in that 16. That's close enough. Our bodies feel broken, but we're... These leaves are going to make a lot of great brown matter for compost. Okay. That way we've got a center dot on this one for our target. Having their way with it, aren't they? All right, put a scoop on your side, please. Actually, do like two or three scoops, or do two scoops. Nice. Good job, good job. We're doing real good. Oh, good job, you. Do one on my side. If you could, please. Oh, it's too big of a rock. Can you grab that rock? Yep. When you catch a creature in their natural habitat. Squaring things up. <laughs> That's pretty square. Now we're still going to measure to the diagonals, but uh, I was trying to get all the centers around the middle-ish of each of the posts. Well, I think you ished it pretty darn good. That's pretty close. Yeah. It's not perfect. I don't expect it to be. Ish enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. On to the next one. Pretty level. I wish we had a freaking laser. Would you fire it? I'd fire the laser. <laughs> we just had an enormous spider right here. We to get him out of here so he wouldn't die. <laughs> It was probably like this big. Definitely like double the size of a toonie. Wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, easily. Maybe quadruple. Roll a picture of the spider now. Yep, there he was. <laughs> big old hairy guy. He gave me a run for my money on the amount of hair he had. 
<laughs> he was covered. <laughs> He's ready for winter. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Yeah, I do like I do all the way around. Out of there. Oh, keep that one. You see all the way around now? Uh, yeah, stop though. Yeah, empty that one. That's fine, empty that one. All right, take the end of that tape measure over to the other side. Bye bye. Good? Yep. Okay. Okay. We need to pull against each other so it doesn't slap. I'm pulling! 50 foot dead net. <laughs> we have square. We made a square. <laughs> or a rectangle with square <laughs> corners. <with> squareness. <laughs> That's good news. All right, we're gonna do another measurement here in a second. We just measured the diagonals from corner to corner, and we are dead net square. Isn't that great? Look at this obstacle illusion. Obstacle illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Optical? It's an obstacle illusion. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe that here to here is level, or there to there is all level, but it is, it's just an illusion. It's an obstacle illusion. It's an obstacle illusion. Is it level? It's almost level. This one needs to come up just a hair. Sweet. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll get that figured out here in a second. We're going to start at that corner over there. Um, Bring it up. With uh, with finishing, getting that one solidified, then we'll come to this corner, mm -hmm. get this one set, and once we do that, then we'll do the in-betweeners, just like last time. In-betweeners. In-betweeners. Oh. All right, here we go. All right, so we got all the piers adjusted and set and ready uh, to start pouring concrete. Next step, we need to provide some power to the uh, cement mixer, and we're gonna use the bus power for that, which is gonna be really neat. Let's see if this extension cord stretches far enough. If it doesn't, we're gonna just move the uh, cement mixer to where the extension cord needs to go. Looks like the extension cord already has power because the little light on the inside is shining bright. All right, looks like we'll We'll reach. Now this cement mixer, although it looks like a pretty massive machine, it only pulls 500 watts at 120 volts, 60 hertz, and it's uh, 68 horsepower. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna test it out and make sure that it can run on the battery. We are, we are going to mix our concrete with solar power. 
Sun's still hitting the, the panels up there. Sun's getting low in the sky, so we gotta get, get to work. Oh, another thing we're gonna do is we've got our garden hose. We bought a utility garden hose that we are going to use the bus's water, the new hose bib that we just installed, to, uh, to provide water for our um, concrete. All right, so we got our new hose bib right here. We've got this, uh, this little nozzle here. It's a low flow nozzle. Let's see if we can get water out of this before we go. Good, no leaks. Nice. All right, so let's go sh uh, take all this garden hose and stretch it out. It's 100 foot over to where we're going to be uh, pouring concrete. coming from the bus. Can you believe how fast that's that spring? That is wild, isn't it? Look at this thing. That's off the bus. Wow. The bus has power. power. I guess it's the downhill. You're not using the pump, are you? Yeah, that's oh, off the pump. Oh, it is off the pump. Yeah. <laughs> so well, that's great news. All right, we'll fill that up. I'll measure them. Cool. And uh, if you want to get the... Do you want me to help you carry the concrete over? Sure. We can do bag by bag together. Bag by bag. Look at all the pressure! Oh my gosh. Who knew we'd have a garden hose with pressure? <laughs> this is really cool. I like having an actual hose bib on yeah. the bus. Yeah. Like this opens up all sorts of possibilities for like rinsing our filters out, for cleaning stuff. There you go. There you go. Now it's off. I put a black mark. We need oh. seven for the black mark. Pour it in right away? Yep. Okay. Ta -da. All right. Concrete. Concrete. Nice. None of the bags are wet. direction today for a little while. Yeah. One. Can I turn it on? Uh, hold on. Let me get the second one oh, in there. Okay. Steamy cauldron. It's the 
full tab on that thing. I know, right? You sure you want your knife? Well, I have a knife, but I don't want to put this concrete all over it. I'll use this uh, ancient knife that I just found. There we go. Oh, that one's great. Oh, that is pretty sharp. Alright. Oh, I see it up there. Alright, hit the power on. Is this red one? Yep. I haven't done it yet. The green one. Green one. So the top of this rebar is about four inches down from the top. So do I push it in as much as I can? Not as much as you can. Oh, just four inches. Just from four the inches top. from the top okay. because it's eight inches short. That way, it's completely encapsulated. Gotcha. Cool. Now you can just bury it. This is so cool to be providing our own water. Yeah, ultimately we want it to be level on top. the two trowels. Perfect, that's actually the one I need.
And then you set the rebar in the middle. And have it about four inches from the top. And fill it up. See Garcia. Here, let me shine some light on him. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, there he is. There he is. In the darkness. Am I helping you out with my head beam? My head beam? Yeah. It gets dark really fast here. Like, I don't even know what time it is. Probably like 5.30 p.m. <laughs> the moon's out, full tilt, half moon. Dead net, it's beautiful. Wow. Sunset was gorgeous. We were working our buns off here. Let's get this done tonight. Hey, 
Yeah. Hey, back to work. <laughs>